I love to explore new destinations. So when a new product from NVIDIA Studio replaces my wait times with opportunities, we pick up our cameras and start creating. So I am in Iceland right now, and one of the biggest questions I've had from you guys is, how when I'm in places like this, am I editing these high intensity 4K videos, 8K time lapses? So I wanted to run you through the hardware that has really helped me when I'm traveling abroad to places like this. Hey, so if you guys know me at all, I love to be on the go, love to be traveling. We've gone all kinds of places over these last couple of months, but that has always been an issue for us when we're trying to create content, especially with these higher resolution cameras pushing 45 to, to 60 something megapixels now for the Sony a7R 4 And then also 4K video, high speed. I love to do you know all these color edits and speed ramps and all that kind of stuff, Adobe After Effects in my edits. Being able to do that natively on a laptop has always been difficult. So I was super excited when NVIDIA first announced this RTX Studio uh, move for them, focusing on getting creators on board and being able to create on laptops on the go. And there are three kind of big things that are making that happen. One is these new graphics cards from NVIDIA. Uh, primarily the ones I'm using are the RTX 2070 and 2080. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones that are actually supported by this though. The second is that we are now getting hardware acceleration from manufacturers in their software. So NVIDIA is working directly with Adobe and DaVinci and all these companies to enable hardware acceleration for most of the effects, for playback, for exporting, all of this stuff that is making it so much faster because we're able to offload all of this workload off the processor and onto the graphics card. And then the third is we now have new firmware and features that are specifically created uh, for creators in mind to be able to make it easy to edit whether you're doing like Adobe After Effects or Premiere or Lightroom or all this kind of stuff on the go. All of this is being able to make happen. So let's talk about some of that that is making it really cool to be creating on a laptop. So the first element is these new graphics cards and there's actually a bunch of different ones that are RTX Studio certified. In fact, we have like 16 or 17 different laptops. All of them have different graphics cards. You can configure it the way that you want. But Nvidia specifically catered and tested these laptops to be able to edit in 4K and do a lot of different stuff uh, that they demand from creators laptops and that's good. So if you pick up an RTX Studio laptop, you can be sure that it can run a lot of different things and it's kind of catered to being able to do video and photo editing, although you can do so much more on these things. And then you also have firmware now that is set to release when these updates go live from the software manufacturer. So it used to be that you were getting firmware updates every time a new game came out and uh, these companies were catering more for the gaming side. Well, now you can set, so it's optional though, you can set your graphics card to only be firmware driven from creators. And what that means is that when Adobe releases releases a new update like they just did with hardware acceleration in Lightroom with more hardware acceleration in Premiere. Every time you do that, you'll probably see firmware updates from Nvidia that go along with that and help them to enable faster acceleration and faster running of your software. So those are all awesome things right there. Now, of course, all this sounds really cool, but the question is, does it actually work? And so uh, I had to test this out when I first got it to see if I could actually notice a big difference on my projects, being able to edit and export and play back some of the things that, uh, that I have been working on in the past couple of months. So Adobe sent a test project, which actually had 1080p video feeds, four of them running in a 4K timeline with effects on them. And it actually blew me away how quickly this was able to run. 
and even blew away my MacBook Pro when I tested on those and the MacBook has twice the RAM on that. Now since this project was actually created by Nvidia, I'm sure it has uh, feeds that were hardware accelerated and effects that were only hardware accelerated. So I'll show you a more real world example of my test in a minute. But honestly, most of the effects in Premiere now are hardware accelerated. So things like transform, lumetri colors, sharpen, dissolves. Uh, I think the only one that I use all the time that isn't is the Luma key right now. Now, but again, updates are coming like crazy with all of this stuff, you're getting hardware acceleration. So this is just the beginning. It will speed up even more as hardware acceleration is enabled for virtually every effect and for playback much better. Quick tip though, if you want to head into Premiere, you can click on the effects panel and there's a little icon right here that says accelerated effects and you can see which ones have hardware acceleration. So that's a quick tip. If you see a lot of the ones that you're using all the time with it enabled, you'll know that this will run so much faster on a Studio RTX laptop. I also tried to export this project and it wasn't even a competition here. I mean, it just blew away the MacBook Pro that I've been using on the export. So yes, these hardware accelerated uh, projects are enabling huge advantages for playback speed and export. But this one is probably the most important because the next test was my own personal project that I have been working on. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's from Iceland. I was really excited about this project and it has tons of effects, transitions, 4K, uh, 1080p, slow motion, and then just a ton of speed ramps and color grade and all that kind of stuff on there. So um, this kind of effects on here would normally slow down my computer like crazy. And this project is still taxing on even a system like this. There are some effects where it is slower, but as soon as those hardware accelerated effects kick in, you can see this machine just go flying through that. And my render time was so much faster than my other laptops. Kind of a bonus here is that these laptops are actually having a lot of features that have been missing. So not only are you getting like, this one has a very high resolution 4K display, color accuracy, um, just one of the best panels I've ever seen. It's also touchscreen. I know a lot of you guys have been missing that combination on a laptop. And then also remember uh, all of these USB ports that have been gone from a lot of laptops. You still have Thunderbolt USB 3. You also have like LAN for high speed. If you need to be able to do that, locks, um, great speaker system. So a lot of the features you have from choosing from tons of different options of computers. So check out all of the 17 of these. I'll leave a link for Nvidia below. Let me know what you guys think about these. They've been a huge help to me speeding up my workflow on the go. I'm really thankful that Nvidia is actually pushing these software manufacturers to enable hardware acceleration and get features like this into laptops that are so small and lightweight like this. This is unbelievable to have all of this in a machine like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out that Iceland video if you haven't already. Like and subscribe. I'll see you soon in a new video.